Yo, what's up, guys? James Carr TV here to recap Game 5 in the final game of the Brooklyn Nets and Miami Heat playoff series. But before I get into the game, make sure if you are new to this channel that you subscribe. Click that little annotation up there in that corner if you're watching on a computer desktop-like thing. And make sure to follow me on Twitter at James Carter TV. Now, let's get into this game. A game in which Nets fans are going to complain. They're going to say, hey. LeBron James had more free throw attempts than we had as a team. And blah, 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 blah. And we didn't get the foul. And, and blah, 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 blah. And some of that is, I mean, it's true, yes, but who cares? Uh, the fact of the matter is this. You only scored three points in the last five minutes of that game. And that's the reason why you lost that game. It's as simple as that. You only scored three points in the last five minutes of that game. If you would have scored five points, you would have tied the game. If you would have scored six points, you would have won the game. If you would have scored six points in the last five minutes of the game, you would have won the game. And it's as simple as that. It can't get any more simple than that. You did not score. And it, it's just that simple. I mean, and the thing is, I hate. I absolutely hate this. I don't, it's kind of off topic, but it's on topic, so you'll get over it. The Washington Wizards have choked game, uh, choked game four away. You want to know what everyone said? Everyone said, oh, they're young. They're inexperienced. Which, first of all, is a complete and utter false premise because, hello, they have Trevor Ariza, who won a freaking NBA championship back in 2009. They have uh, Nene, who's been around for quite a while. They have Marcin Gortat, who's been around for a while. They have Andre Miller, who's old. Drew Gooden, who's old. All these guys who are old. Martel Webster. I mean, they're old, really. They just have two young players and John Wall and Bradley Beal and they're a young team. No, they're not a young team. They're actually quite far away from the young team, but I'm pretty sure they're older than the Indiana Pacers. And yet, the Wizards are young. So, whenever the Wizards choke, we like to say, hey, it's because they're young. Well, why do the Nets choke? What's the reason for the Nets choking? Um, I don't know. So how about we just throw out the young from now on? Let's get rid of that, okay? Here's the reason why teams choke at the end of games. Because they're either A, this is the most likely thing, because nothing is 100%, but either A, because they're poorly coached, at the end of the game, because a coach cannot construct a good play at the end of the game to get his team scoring late in games. He cannot coach his players into playing good defense at the end of games and making adjustments at the end of games. That is the most likely and cause of the scenario of all this, and I think that applies to this game. Or B, the players are just cold offensively, they can't hit shots. Uh, and it's mostly on the players making bad decisions, but mostly it's, A, hey, that poor coaching at the end of games leads to players choking. Get the youth argument. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. The Nets are one of the oldest teams of the NBA, and yet they're choking more than anyone. More than anyone, they're choking. So I don't want to hear the young argument because, hello, look at the Brooklyn Nets. So, Brooklyn Nets. I mean, Joe Johnson scored 34. Brad, but Dillon Williams has completely fallen off. I've not, I've never, I say I have, but that's a sad thing. People like Gilbert Arenas and, and Trace McGrady and Vince Carter fall off the map. And Darren Williams is now in that category of people who fall off the map. Where the hell is the old Darren Williams? Because if the old Darren Williams were to show up and hit some damn shots at the end of this game, maybe the Broken Nets would have won this goddamn game, but no. He's nowhere to be seen, and now everyone's going to go back to saying the Miami Heat are unbeatable. They're unstoppable. They're going to stop the Miami. And in the Eastern Conference, that will hold to be true. But in the NBA Finals, I'm picking the Spurs. I'm rolling with the San Antonio Spurs in seven. And maybe even six. I'm thinking about it. That's who I'm rolling with. Sure, the Heat are being challenged, and they're going to be well rested. And Dwayne Wade looked good for the first half of this game. After that, his knees started getting shaky. His knees started getting rolled. His knees were starting to look like Elvis Presley, you know, dancing, man. His knees were shaking around. And so, the first half, he was good. Second half, he was bad. He needs to get those knees some more rest. Ray Allen won for seven, but he hit the big one from three. He won for seven from three. He hit the big one at the end of the game to basically win the game. LeBron choked. Uh, missed a free throw. He was 14 to 15. Goes up there, 14 of 16. Wow! I mean, unbelievable. Uh, but you know, hey, this LeBron. That's what we expect. Uh, so there you go. I mean, he move on to face either the Wizards or the Pacers. I project 
that it's going to be the Pacers, but I predicted the Wizards, and I'm so worried with that prediction. I'm not backing off. I think the Wizards could easily win Game 6, and they could easily win Game 7, and, and what will be the ultimate demise and fall of the Indiana Pacers, but we'll see. I, the only reason, just follow me on this. The Wizards have lost both games at home. It's going to be very hard to convince me that they would lose every game in a playoff series at home. Good luck convincing me of that because I'm very wary of that. I don't see that. I'm picking the Wizards to win game six and we'll see what happens in game seven, but that's what I believe. Tonight, the San Antonio Spurs will move on. They will beat the Portland Trailblazers. They will move on to the Western Conference Finals. So stay tuned for that. James Carter TV. Comment down below your thoughts on this game. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.